Dehancer is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that you add as a finishing effect to your grade. It does film stock, film grain, bloom, halation, and some other effects to simulate the film look. My aim with this video is to give you great understanding of how each of Dehancer's individual effects look and how they look when they are mixed together. This is a review of the end results I've gotten and if you decide you want to try it out, please use my affiliate link in the description of this video and you'll get a 10% discount. Starting from June 1st, the Hanser Pro price will increase from $399 to $449. Grab it earlier if you are interested, I told you. Film stock. Okay, so I will start here with some footage and now I'm going to apply some of the Hanser's film stock profiles to that footage. I will use different types with this shot first and then I'm going to show you some other shots. The thing I like most about the film stock emulation and the Hanser is that it I can be I can control how strong it is. Usually I'm not pushing to create some over the top retro effects. I just want to give my videos a slight different look that feels more like film. And while most of the film stock profiles are really subtle, you can get a more strong look if that's what you are after. And there is multiple options for black and white. Some YouTubers that talked about the answer have said the film stock emulations are not 100% precise to the actual film stocks that they are supposed to replicate. But from my view, I wouldn't know because I haven't shot film and I think most users of this plugin will be after the overall feeling of film stock, which is why I recorded this video. So you can look at it and see if it meets the visual styles that you are looking for. Mind that with the latest Dehancer version 7 has a new tool called Tool Profile, which you can use a specific profile from a wide range of selections and it's available in all features except film stock. Film grain. The video from digital cameras can be so sharp and clean that it doesn't really look natural so that's why I really desired to try putting Dehancer's film grain on it. Dehancer's grain is likely the most spectacular feature, but it's also joylessly to be appreciated on YouTube because of the compression. So let's go on and zoom in. Dehancer doesn't just apply a grain overlay, it actually reproduces your image out of grain. So when you zoom in, you can see that grain actually reproduced the video rather than just sitting on top as an effect. Here is the built-in film for DaVinci Resolve. I attempted to visualize the grain effect, match it to the answer as much as feasible. Is there enough of a difference to make a difference to justify getting the answer? For myself, I enjoy the overall softer feel of the answer's grain but 90% of my audience will never even see it because of the little smartphone screens and YouTube compression. If you truly want your target audience to see the film grain properly, what I recommend is rendering your project at the maximum quality, either as ProRes or very high bitrate H.264, not H.265, followed by posting it in 4K resolution to YouTube. Bloom is a much more noticeable effect. I don't believe I need to describe what it is, but just in case you are experiencing difficulties, just look at the highlights when you see it. I toggle the bloom 
effects on and off. The hamster's bloom can be quite noticeable, as you can see here. Alternatively, it can be more subtle. I feel very confident in replacing my black pro mist filter in most cases. Halation. I'll admit that I had no idea what halation was until I started using the Hanser. In case you don't know what that is either, I'll explain a little bit. It is a flow or a fold on film that appears at the red halo or fringe around the edges and areas of strong contrast corners. I'm turning it off and on again here. And here is a closer look. Halation provides a type of effect in this shot that made edges has a red glow. And in this one, you can see the maximum halation settings to achieve this. Of course, I would never do that for real color grade. I found halation practically invisible every time in my footage, especially in such complex videos as this. Many of the Hanser's effects, halation can be so slight that you may not notice it, nearly don't see it, but when everything is in place, when everything is put together, it adds to the general appearance of the film. Other effects. The Hanser has a few more tricks up its sleeve for creating vintage looks. Vignette is of course the darkened edges of the frame. Film breadth produces inconsistencies in color and exposure. Gate weave when the film bounces within the camera or projector. Film damage. Film damage simulates the appearance of old film stock. There is scratches, grain particles, hair or fibers, and dirt, dust, or water spots. Film damage also allows you to simulate camera shake and a flickering image. Film compression tool in the Hanser allows you to fine tune the redistribution of highlights towards the midtones. At the same time, the midtones are shifted slightly while the shadows and mid shadows are preserved. An image compressed in this way looks more analog and becomes more flexible for further manipulation with exposure, contrast, film and print profiles, etc. When everything is put together, you can make the look as grungy as you want it to be. There is two quality options, normal fast and high low. And as it sounds, the normal one is faster to render but will get you lower quality effects. The high low one will do the opposite but it will get you a way better and noticeable results even in smartphones. Another thing to say regarding the answer, it will significantly slow down your system. I was hoping to be able to finish this video fast but because of the render times, it became almost a week long project because each time I needed to change some settings, it took longer due to the cache to render repeatedly at less than one frame per second or just a little bit more. I'm using a 2019 MacBook Pro, so your results may differ based on your computer system, especially those with M1 and M2. Uh, I 100% see that it will be faster. So there you have it. Please check the answer links in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you later.